out in the kayak today. We're going to be searching for some striped bass. Uh, we're out here fishing freshwater. Striped bass, for those of you who don't know, there's freshwater. They go in the freshwater as well as the salt water. So this is a lake here. These these are landlocked striped bass. And uh, we picked up some minnows this morning. And we're going to be trolling, drifting some live minnows. So I'll explain more what, what we're doing when we get out there. But uh, let's get on the water. made it out. I have not fished this uh, lake for a very long time and I've never fished it from a kayak or in this area. Uh, I fished other parts of the lake from a boat previously. Um, so I'm going to start off trying to cover some water and uh, try and figure out where these fish are at. And so to do that I'm going to be trolling at first with some live minnows and I'm going to have two rods out. One with a um, one ounce sinker and one with no weight. And what that's going to do is that's going to cover two different um, areas of the water column. And that way I can try and figure out where these fish are and where they're feeding. So that way if one, one rod has more uh, luck than the other one, I can switch over both to that whatever desired depth. And because I'm trolling, I'm able to cover more water. I can watch the fish finder as well and see if we're marking any fish or any bait. Uh, and then if I do find a good spot where there's a lot of fish, uh, or a good concentration of bait, then I can just hunker down and drift and just kind of fish one area. But until I find that, I'm going to start trolling. So here's my setup. I got 30 pound braid to a little slider with a one ounce sinker. Other one's going to have no no weight. And then my leader, about a four foot leader to a little J hook. And here are my minnows that I picked up this morning. I'm going to take one out of here. Now these are jumbo minnows. I'm not sure. I think they're... I don't want to guess. I think they're shad. Don't quote me on that. And we're just going to hook them straight from the bottom lip through the top. Just like that. And that's pretty much it. We're just going to troll these around for a little bit. hope we get bit. Alright, so we're all set up now. We got one rod out here. And this has got the one ounce weight. Back about 50 feet, so I say it's probably trolling eh, around 20 feet or so. And then one with no weight. And this is about probably fishing about 10 feet or so. So uh yeah, that's it for now. We're gonna start trolling, looking for some fish, and I'm gonna throw on the head cam. We'll check back in when we get a strike. Alright, fish on in five. Four, three, two, one, boom. Oh, we're gonna bite. Get the bite. Let's engage. Yep, we're on. Fish on, boys. First one. It's taking a little while for me to find some fish, but I think we finally. I don't think this is a big one, but. Finally found something that's willing to bite. Well, it's taking us for a little bit of a uh, sleigh ride here, even though I don't think he's that giant. But you never know. Could be just waking up. Yep, there he is. Like I said, not a giant, but that is the target species. So it's good to know that they are around. And he's bad, he's probably actually a keeper. Actually, he definitely is a keeper. So here in California, where I'm fishing, 18 inches is the minimum size for a striped bass. 
And this guy. Let's see if we can bring him in. Alright. It's not bad. It's probably about 20 inches or so. So technically we could keep this guy. But I think we'll toss him back. I'm trying to catch a big one today. But uh, hey, I guess that's my first keeper striper of the year. So one cool thing about these fish when you catch them is that fin on the top there stands right up. Uh, it's kind of like they're in feeding mode or an angry mode, I guess. Well, that's kind of cool. All right, let's let this guy go. Get a nice clean release on this guy. There he goes. All right, let's see if we can catch another one. So one interesting thing, I, a lot of places in, in the Bay Area, I guess all over California, a lot of lakes, they make you go through a boat inspection uh, before you go out in the water. And basically they're just checking for standing water um, because that can spread uh, different kinds of invasive species. And I was thinking, you know, if you can't, have any standing water in your boat, how are you going to bring live minnows, you know, into a lake without having any water, obviously. So, basically I thought we couldn't do it, so I called him up and asked him about it, and in fact, you can have them, and you just got to give them, have them in your car and not in the boat before you launch, and I guess it's okay. It doesn't really make sense to me because when you have them in your car, you're going to transfer them in your boat before you launch, the water could still get into the lake. So. Uh, doesn't really make sense to me. I don't know if you guys know why they do that. Maybe leave a comment below, but anyway, just kind of a uh, interesting piece of information there. All right, we're gonna run here. Sean. Second fish. Seems like it might be a little bit bigger. Got a good run at, at the beginning. Feels like it's got a little more weight to it. Make sure that drags set. Another kayaker right here. I thought maybe I had him for a second, but Definitely a fish. Ooh, this one's got some weight to it and it's staying down a little more than the last one, for that's for sure. Try to bring it around. Yeah, decent fish. I think it's a little bit bigger than our last one. You can see how close to the bank we are there. Here's our fish right there. I think we'll keep this guy. It's probably about 22 or 24 inches or so. Probably about five pounds, I guess. Throw him in on the stringer. There's fish number two. All right guys, it's gonna wrap it up. I'm gonna head back in. It's getting a little late, it's a little bit windy, and uh, I gotta get home anyway. So, I'll show you really quick what I used to catch those two fish. Both of them on this conventional setup, I didn't get any on my spinning setup. So, this is a uh, nine foot medium G Loomis, it's a GL2. It's an old rod, but man, this thing has caught me a lot of fish. I love fishing this rod. It's a little light uh, for some fishing that we do, but for fish like this, just perfect. And I uh, pair that up with a uh, Abu Garcia Ambassador. 6500 C3 20 pound mono and uh, that's it straight to the, the minnow so I caught both of the fish on that rod this is my normal surf fishing setup it, it would have worked I mean I, I think it was just bad luck today I mean I only caught two fish both of them on this one so yeah that's another reason why I wanted to get this kayak out here is that here in the Bay Area rock fish season is opening soon uh, it opens April 1st and we're hoping to get salmon season. It's not official yet. Actually, 
by the time I post this video, it might be official. I don't know yet. But anyway, definitely rockfish, hopefully salmon, and definitely crab as well. So we're still looking to get a few more combo trips out where we drop the crab pots, go fish for some uh, rockfish sling cod, and then go pick up the pots in the afternoon when we're done. But uh, all that's coming up soon, so stay for, stay tuned for that. Uh, if you're not subscribed, make sure you do so so you don't miss those videos. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.